There were a couple of interesting remarks where you're talking about insurance companies now looking at the av availability of caps and what they're doing with uh, how they're reacting to losses. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, what they're finally doing is really, really saying they understand the benefits of a caps system. They understand the reason why somebody might pull the system and uh, deploy the parachute. The insurance companies are saying, if you ever are concerned about the financial issues when you do that, don't be. It's better to pull the chute than say, you know, it's, I'm going to save a buck or two here. I'm going to try and get my butt out of whatever condition I got into. We don't want there to be a financial concern in doing that. It's on the airplane, not for any gimmicks or marketing or anything like that. It's on the airplane because Alan was in a situation where he would have used it and from that point on, he said that, that we're going to build airplanes with parachutes. And that's why it's there. It's been a great system. It's been used by a number of people. But there's still scenarios where people have not used it. And we want to make sure that we continually tear down any barriers that somebody is in a situation where they don't use it. We've changed our training about the, the system. Uh, really try to make people think about when and how they might use it the development of our simulators, to put people in scenarios where they need to use it. So it starts to become a natural, uh, and natural maybe isn't the, the right term, but it, it becomes a little bit more forefront on their mind in the, the case of emergency. We want to make sure that there's no financial concerns at the same time. And if you would, let's, let's extrapolate that a little bit. Let's talk about the companies they're doing and what is it now that they're doing in regards to CAPS deployments? Well, it's a couple of the companies right now, uh, Charter and is it LSU or LRU. What they're saying is that there's no deductible. They're not going to charge you for the deductible on the airframe. So they're already covering the airframe. They're going to replace the airframe in the case of uh, a CAPS deployment. They're saying we're going to replace it 100%. We're not going to penalize you as the customer at all for using the, the CAP system. Aero TV is brought to you by... The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.